Hey out there, happy Monday. I hope you guys had an awesome weekend. You can't tell from the color behind me, but I'm at the brown house. It almost feels like I'm in one of those TV studios, the, the green room, and there's gonna be like some animation going behind me, like, hey, Harry buys houses, sell Harry your house. So listen, I'm at the brown house. Some stuff has gotten done since, since we were last here. We went to uh, Atlantic City for uh, the weekend, and we had a great time. We left a small deposit, but we got a free, free vacuum cleaner. But anyway, we had a really good time. I hope you guys had a good weekend. So a couple of the things that got done was the, uh, the tub surround got done today with the tile. And the grout's not in, so I'm not going to prejudge it because I've done tiling before. And before the grout goes in, it doesn't look finished and, you know, you're not falling in love with it. So don't prejudge it. And I'm trying not to also. We got a uh, new six panel doors up and the other ones that, that were already six panel and matching, they got painted. So it's already making a big difference there. I literally just got the, the cabinet layout drawing and uh, the list of cabinets from my cabinet lady. And uh, first of all, it's a little bit more expensive than I anticipated. That was one. And the other is the layout. I'm gonna have to alter it a little bit. You know, one of, the, one of the bad things about this whole pandemic is she's reluctant to come out to measure because I really like someone that's providing the cabinets to do the measurements as well. This way, if they do the measuring and there's something wrong with the cabinets, it's not me, you know what I mean? So in this particular case, I measured out the walls, I did my own diagram on some graph paper, and I mean, I'm not a cabinet measurer, but I'm, I've done this before, so I'm pretty good at it. She takes that design, and then she sends me over a list of cabinets. I kind of already knew which cabinets I was going to need. And then also a more professional, uh, like she has some software that puts it together. But there's a couple of things I'm not liking about it. This kitchen is a little bit more challenging than a regular kitchen because the, the ceiling height is only about 81 inches. So if you're over six foot nine, this house is not gonna work for you. The back master bedroom and then that other room that we're gonna make a fourth bedroom, you'll be fine in there because it's got cathedral ceilings. We tried everything. I asked Tommy about raising these ceilings. I can't do it, there's too much stuff up there. You know, HVAC, things like that. Um, we'd have to probably put a supporting wall in somewhere and it just wasn't practical. So it is what it is. However, that leads to some challenges with the kitchen because you got 30 inch cabinets. I don't want to go and start getting custom cabinets for this house. It just wouldn't be worth it. So we got 30 inch cabinets coming down on the wall. And then the base cabinets are about 34, 34 and a half inches high. Plus you got your countertop. So there's only going to be about a 15 inch backsplash. It'll be fine. But it does create some challenges as far as the look of the house. In the one corner on the layout, there was only a nine inch cabinet. I'm not in love with that. So I gotta go print out the drawings, come back, and then I'll sketch it out on the wall and possibly alter some of the cabinets. Let me go show you what the bathroom looks like. There's a new six panel door. And Tommy put a bunch of them in so that the wall match. There's another new one over there, new bathroom door. And uh, there's the tub surround. So, like I said, try not to prejudge it because the grout's not in. I would have liked this over here. We were supposed to have a double row. I think it would have been a nicer accent, but it is what it is. So we'll put some white grout in there. We'll finish that up. And then uh, when you see the end product, I'm sure it's going to look beautiful. I'm thinking I'm going to get some dark fixtures for the uh, for the uh, the vanity as well as the uh, the tub that's a new six panel door uh, Tommy's guys put in uh, it was Diane's suggestion which is awesome because instead of walking through the master bedroom to get to your big laundry room or outside the house you can now come through the bathroom I hope on previous videos, I wasn't bashing any of the HG TV or DIY TV people, the designers. I hope I wasn't bashing them too much, but like what I was just talking about with the bathroom door, like somebody could say, well, that's not really practical. You gotta walk through the bathroom to get out the back door or the master bedroom. 
you should really create a, what, what are you going to create? You know, sometimes when you come into a house, you got to deal with what you have here, like the ceilings. If you want to raise the ceilings or, or you want to put some hallway or something in, you can. However, you have to run the numbers and see, is it practical? Am I going to get, uh, I'm going to get my money back for that? And, you know, you weigh the pros and cons. I mean, is it a little, is it a little different than other houses? Well, yeah. However, you're not buying a brand new house. So we got some base trim. It's got a coat of paint on it. We got a couple more six panel doors over here. We're gonna put new hardware on. We're not gonna use those gold tacky doorknobs. We're gonna get some nice dark ones. I think I can kind of get used to the green behind me. I'm not sure who would paint the walls this color, but another benefit of home ownership, you could do whatever you want in your house. I made a video about that. So if you wanna paint your walls aqua, you can. In case somebody's wondering, how do I get a hold of you, Harry? Because my then here's all the information. So we're just over two weeks into this project. And I said that Diane and I went to Atlantic City over the weekend. And I'm not sure if we would have went to Atlantic City for, uh, for the night or we would have just went for a few hours if I didn't have uh, Tommy. And also I saw Rose down here. Shout out to Rose. But it brings me a lot of comfort uh, to know that he's working on the project, or his guys are. And man, this thing has moved along. I don't want to seem unenthusiastic. I think maybe I got the cabinets in the back of my head like, man, I wish they were here already. You know, not working with a contractor on previous projects, I'm still getting used to it as far as timing. I don't want to, I don't want to hold Tom up with moving along on this. So with the cabinets, I probably going to be out a week, a week and a half with the cabinets, but I mean, it still has to get spackled and painted and everything else. And the, uh, the appliance, the reason why I'm bringing that up is because I think I'm going to go tomorrow and actually buy the appliance pack, a package tomorrow, refrigerator, stove, dishwasher. I was going to get the microwave above the stove. However, with these low ceilings, I'm thinking it's going to look a lot nicer with a hood up there instead of a microwave. So I'm probably going to do that. And the benefit of getting the appliances tomorrow, I won't get them delivered for at least another week or so. But the benefit of having the appliances is I'll have the actual dimensions of the fridge. Because the fridge is going to go right here against this chimney. And we're going to have a panel come out here. And I would really like to know the width of it so that before I order the cabinets, I'll be able to really know what it's going to look like. So, if anything develops between now and tomorrow, I'll have another video. Thanks.